हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक एवरीवन टू द दृष्टि आई एस इंग्लिश यूट्यूब चैनल एज द यू पी एस सी प्रेलम्स इज जस्ट राउंड द कॉर्नर इट इज अप्रोचिंग स्लोली एंड आई नो ऑल ऑफ यू आर स्ट्रेस आउट अबाउट योर प्रिपरेश ऑल ऑफ यू आर बिजी इन योर रिविजन एंड दैट इज वाई वी आर हियर टू हेल्प यू आउट बाई आर ट्रेंड एनालिसिस सीरीज तो इन दिस सीरीज वी आर कवरिंग द ट्रेंड एनालिसिस ऑफ द यू पी एस सी प्रिलिम्स फॉर ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट वी आर trying to ease up your preparations and we are trying to make revision smarter for you so in today's important episode of trend analysis we are going to discuss the subject of science and technology and this subject of science and technology is the most feared areas the student uh, themselves find it very difficult to deal with this subject of science and technology and that is why i am here to inform you about the trend analysis of this subject as well as the important topics from which the questions are, are being asked by the upsc in the prelims examinations and as i have said before also that this trend analysis is not only important for those students who are targeting the 2024 prelims but it is also important for those students who are targeting the prelims 2025 as well so let us begin by discussing the important areas from which the questions are being asked in your subject of science and technology so if i talk about the average questions you can expect from this subject they can range anywhere between 13 questions to 15 questions if you talk about last year that is the last prelims of 2023 around 13 questions were asked from various areas in the science and technology now let us discuss the important areas from which you can expect a question from this subject okay so the first important area or the first important topic is the topic of biotechnology bio technology so if you talk about this important topic of biotechnology in the year 2023 one question was asked then in the year 2022 two questions of were asked and if you talk about the year 2021 then you can see a reversal of the trend four questions then 2023 questions 2019 four questions 2018 one question then again three question one question and one question so you can expect a minimum of two questions and a maximum of four questions from this topic and hence this topic becomes very important for you so the first topic was biotechnology then coming to the second topic of space technology space technology so in the last 3 years no questions have been asked from the topic of space technology but as you are aware about the current affairs space technology is currently in news so yes i would say that prepare this topic revise it because since last 3 years it has not been asked so this increases the probability of this topic being asked in your 2024 examinations so 2021 question 2019 one question then 2018 three questions 2017 1 3 and 2 so the minimum you can expect is one questions and which can go up to three questions if there is a reversal of trend then if i talk about the defense technology defense technology so in the year one question was asked and no questions were asked in the year 2022 and 2021 then if you talk about the papers of 2020 two questions then no question one question and they were not asked in the years 2017 16 and 15 and this is where you see that yes there is a difference in trend and that is why we say that the paper has suddenly become difficult the trend is changing so the trend is not changing they are just repeating those topics which they don't ask you frequently okay and coming to the topic of another important topic of nanotechnology so if i talk about the topic of nanotechnology 
no question was asked in the year 2023 then one question no question one question then for the last four years it was not asked and then in the year 2015 okay so yes you can expect just one question from this topic but if you they again want to change the trend they will ask you questions from those topics which they do not cover frequently now let us discuss some of the other topics which are important from your perspective of your 2024 prelims in the subject of science and technology so the topic of information and communication technology one questions in the year last year but if you talk about the year 2022 trend changed seven questions not asked in the year 2001 2021 question then three question then again six questions then one question three question and one question but if you talk about this topic of information and communication technology this is a very very important topic for you do not forget to revise this topic because you never know that around 10 questions could also be asked from this topic itself so yes i would say that please be thorough with this topic please revise it because it is showing a trend of around 7 questions 6 questions and minimum of 3 questions could be asked from this topic then talking about the topics of robotics and artificial intelligence robotics and artificial intelligence artificial intelligence has remained in the current affairs throughout the year so yes artificial intelligence becomes important for the perspective of your 2024 prelims and what does the trend say no questions have been asked in the last 3 years that increases the probability of this topic being asked okay then one question no questions but yes ai has been in news throughout the year due to the developments related to chat gpt due to the developments related to the gemini ai which was previously known as google bard we have also recently discussed the llm technique that is being used in the artificial intelligence so yes you will not be surprised if you see a question on artificial intelligence in this year's paper then if you talk about the topic of energy three questions no question no question one question no questions and then again two questions but again energy sector was in focus this year due to the launch of various government schemes especially the scheme related to the generation of energy from solar power so yes i can say that you can expect a question from this topic as well then there was global biofuels alliance as well which was in news so yes energy again becomes important for you and previous year three questions were asked from this topic so maximum three questions and minimum one question you could expect in your prelims from this topic and then if i talk about the most important sector that is the miscellaneous sector seven questions were asked in the 2023 prelims from this topic known as miscellaneous which covers all of the trending topics that are there in your current affairs throughout the years okay and then if you talk about 2022 no question 2021 no question then again one question no question one question and no question but you see that the uh, weightage of miscellaneous has been increased last year and seven questions were asked from this topic moving forward let us analyze these topics in depth so the red color denotes the information and communication technology so as you can see in the year it was occupying a lesser space but the space increased the number of questions increased in the year 2016 then again decreased in 2017 then in 2018 it occupied a really big space that means the number of questions increased the number of questions increased 
then again in 2019 the trend was followed 2020 no the trend was not followed only few questions were asked then again there was a trend reversal in 2022 and maximum questions were asked from this sector of information and uh, technology and communication technology then in the year 2023 you can again see a trend reversal so if you analyze this trend that yes the topic which was not asked previously that much they are repeating those kinds of topics and that is why i said for example miscellaneous miscellaneous was not asked in the year 2015 at all in the 2016 also they did not ask any question from the miscellaneous sector then in the 2018 few questions 2019 again no question 2020 again they asked from miscellaneous sector and if you talk about the last year prelims see the miscellaneous sector has occupied a great number of questions so this is how you can observe the trend that yes they are not asking something new they are just you know repeating the topics very smartly so the topics which were not asked previously are now being asked now they you can see that it is occupying a very fairly good number of questions in your prelims examinations and then same is the case with the energy sector 2016 some questions no questions in 2015 17 18 19 20 21 22 and suddenly it resurfaced in the year 2023 so now can you an, uh, realize what is happening they are not asking something which is out of your syllabus they are just asking those topics which you skip that okay the questions are not coming but why why should i study and waste my time on these topics but then again when you go to the prelims examinations you see questions from this unexpected topics and that is why we, uh, i am saying that yes it is important for you to see the trend analysis it is a very important for you to analyze at least 10 years question papers and while you are analyzing the question papers do analyze the options as well because what they do they make questions from these options as well so whenever you are saying that yes the paper was difficult we were not expecting this nothing unexpected is happening okay they are just not following the trend okay they are just asking those topics which are not very frequent in a student's mind and while analyzing the paper question paper of last 10 years at least or last 5 years thoroughly do study about the options which is being given which are not the correct answers because i have seen that yes they are making questions out of these options as well so i hope you are clear with your preparation i hope science and technology will not scare you any more i hope by watching this session you are able to analyze the trend you are seeing that yes those topics which were not frequent are resurfacing in your recent years okay and i hope the scare scary element of this subject known as science and technology finally can be handled by you by having smart study okay and i also hope that you are already enrolled in our prelim test series and if you have not enrolled as of now i would request you to enroll in our drishti is prelims test series which we are conducting for the year 2024 and how will you enroll you will enroll by downloading the drishti is learning app it is available for desktop it is available for both android and ios so that you can study and you can attempt the test and check your preparations how thorough are you before the prelims examinations and it will also help you in finding out on which areas you are committing very silly silly mistakes i hope this session was insightful for you if you have any feedback regarding this session you can drop it in the comment box below if you like the today's discussion and found it to be helpful kindly like the channel and subscribe to it for more such interesting updates thank you for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications